What's going on guys, it's Flamengo, we're back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but I wanted to try to get these God cards as much as possible before I upload it again to try to show you guys the animations. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the new animations, the new card summons, the new finish attack animations, but I wanted to show you guys it in a video, and since we got Obelisk first, like free so I'm gonna show off obelisk next I'm gonna show off slifer and then lastly I'm gonna show off raw so that's most likely what I'm gonna be doing for the next three episodes of master duel basically what is this dude playing mm, I could just max him considering that's a neo space he special something there so let's do this Now the best way I see to summon the Egyptian gods, which wow, you got to pop off, is Castera right now. Let's throw this out here. The only reason I say that because it's easy to like special summon three monsters or at least just special summon a few monsters on the field without actually. I honestly needed that, but that's okay. I should have got rid of the other card, but like I was saying, it was easier to summon them on the field to like play the Egyptian God. So basically, if I had a good hand, let's do this. Uh, let's throw away. It's like my side of the field. No, let's do his. Oh, they went to the grave. I should didn't mind that. It's hard for me to explain it. I also pay attention to the duel, but anyway, with Castier you could just special summon like Fenrir and then Unicorn and then use their special abilities, add another one to the hand, special summon another one, and have three monsters on the field. Now, of course, with the Castier it also will bait out any negates that you'll possibly try to get like your opponent have they just try to negate and stop your turn with the cast there that's fine you can get rid of all their hand traps they negates and most likely some of their back row with the whole cast there thing then you could just play obelisk slifer or rod and it's just awful it's also another card i wanted to make a video on but i don't know if you guys ever played it which is i think it's called a thousand dragon at least that's the name I believe it's called. I do have a few um, footage saved of me using that card and just offing my opponent one shot. No, because you had 10,000 attack once playing that card, and it's like it's a double edged sword because somebody have a magic cylinder you just screwed over, but without that, it's over. Why is he playing Isode? What is he playing? Nope, Inferno Knights. What is this dude playing? Draco? Is he playing Draco? Pendulum. Wait, okay, he pendulum something. Okay, you know what? Okay, I probably skipped through this. This dude took a long time just to finish this board and get rid of my board, but he pendulum something. It just took forever, and I honestly don't want to sit here and bore you guys with somebody just. Someone cards back and forth through their decks and stuff like that. So it's my turn again. And I pulled what I needed because if I didn't get this, it would have been over with. It would have been 100% over with. I wasn't really even paying attention to what he was doing for the most part. It's like he lost me when he just kept summoning, throwing cards in his extra deck, uh, pendulum summon, and then use 
beyond the pendulum it's like man it just took forever it's like I, I just can't I can't deal with pendulums I never actually even use pendulums I used them once before I have I think one pendulum deck but I personally don't mess with them so much because it takes forever to do your play depending on what you're playing if you're just playing pendulum magicians then you all good but if you're playing something like this I don't know what he actually doing he got some pendulum magicians in his deck he's playing Dracos he playing some other cards I, I just don't know what he's on he got his Zodia in his deck which also is weird uh, I could just go into that let's just attack my goal is to attack him with obelisk so not gonna end this duel unless I win with obelisk see now you got racial what is this deck that's in the gate Uh, Squeak Knight? Let me just get rid of this. Attack Draco. He's gonna just bring it back. He actually can do something. got the big bang card set even though I don't think that's a good card because sometimes I'll be using this end up throwing away my own card I don't really understand it and he just summon something else let's just lock out his whole summon like area we're gonna just lock out the whole thing you know what that's what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to lock out his whole field and then hit him with obelisk But clearly he's not playing Castera, so I don't have to worry about um, using this effect. Get okay, what you got, my boy. I don't really even play Castera that much. I got him mixed with, uh, what is that, Scareclaw and Tillaments in one of my decks, but what I've been playing mostly is, uh, what you call them cars? Fire Ace, Race, Rescue, Rescue Ace. Those the ones I've been playing the most. And Soul Vanquish. I think that's the name. Soul Vanquish or something like that. I got a deck with that. I haven't made a video on it, but I've been trying out different cards. And now I'm just going with the Egyptian God cards. It's like, why not? I wish they make more. Um, support for him make them more like the anime give them all the obelisk effect off the back where they can't be targeted by nothing do this you will be losing two summon zones one thing you're gonna have is your extra summon zone Now you know I could just do this, so why? Okay, he must have his Zodiac in his hand. Or pieces of his Zodiac in his hand. Let's activate. Uh, Ashley. I clicked the wrong button, so that's fine. I should have just banished that to lock up his own but he might be summoning something else I want him to make another beyond the pendulum something before I could just hit it hey 
as you guys can see why I skipped it a little bit earlier because he takes forever just to make a decision. I think I dueled against Outcast before, but it wasn't taking forever to just play stuff. Okay, now I'm very confused with what he's doing. Let's banish that, banish that, and banish that because I believe it can come back. Or maybe that. Yeah, that. We don't want that coming back to your Astro deck. You'd be popping stuff with that. Second zone, gone. Can I get a three? <laughs> he don't know what he's finna do. Okay, this is what I was waiting on. And the link. Okay, I should do this now. Wait, is this the quick effect one? If so, I think I just messed up. Yeah, it is. I should have waited till he did that. Then banished him. He wouldn't even get the effect off. It's fine, I still banish it. And then he only gonna have two spaces to summon from. Yep. Lock this boy up. Okay, that's interesting that you're gonna do that, but at the same time, that doesn't make any sense. Think a single spell card finna help you in this situation. In this situation right here is over with. And there we go. That's the hmm. One more turn, I guess. Ashley, should I get I need Fenrir. I should have put Unicorn in my hand because Unicorn could have summoned Fenrir and then Fenrir could have. Yeah, I messed up, but I need Fenrir. Add Unicorn in my hand just because. Uh, activate this. Now I got to run the field, which I need. Activate this. Banish this. Uh, lock out back row just because I should have waited. Do this. To tell the truth, this is the first time I'm ever playing this card. Rise heart, it just looks so amazing. But first time you're using it, take this special summon this guy. Uh, I think this is just game. We cannot special summon right now. Just those. All right, we're gonna use Fangrill to banish. You can't use any effects if he had any. I 
think I banished the monster, right? That guy banished too, which is kind of weird. Yep, lock his. Lock him down. I did not think this duel would be this long, I'll be real with y'all. It's only because dude was taking forever to just make plays. Yes, continue your attack. Get rid of this. Now everything is banishing. Let me just grab. Mm, let me grab that. Drop three, banish one on the field. Attack. Now see, I can off him now, but I'm not. The question is... Let's do this. Should I wait? Cause let's do this first. To lock out his whole field. No pigeon on summon. The thing is, I hope he don't run. Cause at this point, 100 life points, two cars in hand, can't play anything on the field. My boy about to dip. I don't want him to dip. I need to play Obelisk. I'm doing do it in one turn. Because if I just play Obelisk. He'll probably just like. Nah you're just trying to hit me with the animation. I don't want to see the animation. But a lot of people came here today to see the animation. So I got to use it. Not going to use any effects. He can't play anything. He could use Raigeki. Okay, he's a real one. He is a real one. You're like, I gotta go out the way I gotta go out. That's a crazy pull. Okay, so we're just gonna use Obelisk. See his new animation. Both of them now. Bam. It's not a monster. It's a god. Hit that. And just go into the battle. Ending with Fist of Fate. Yo, that's just amazing. I love they gave the, the uh, god cards their effects now. Alright, moving on to Slifer. <laughs> 